what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and in this video as you see by the title once again we are back with another dokkan battle concept and in this video we will be going over an lr io ken goku who of course transforms into the super saiyan goku this is from namek obviously as you can tell by the background um this is a highly anticipated lr for me and I honestly do expect it to come sooner than later, considering it's been since 2021 since. So I'm actually very excited um, about this concept. I think I made him very crazy and very broken. But honestly, that's what I kind of expect um, if this guy end up gets an LR soon, like for um, anniversary is a possibility because we still are not 100% sure if uh, fusions is just going to be the theme they go for. It, uh, honestly, it could just be an OG Goku vs. Frieza or something along those lines. So why not make it while we have the chance? If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. We're on the road to 210 subscribers. Let's get that by the end of the year. Smash the like button. Stay tuned for more content like this. Um, like I said in the past couple videos, this is mostly what my content is going to be for the next couple of weeks. Um, of course, until more Dokkan content drops, um, New Year's, and then, of course, 10th anniversary in the future. And then we'll get back on that Dokkan stuff. But for now, this is um, the best I can do with the time I have. So without further ado, we're going to dive in once again. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you like content like this, smash the like button. Let's dive right in. AGL. Definitely wasn't going to be Ints because... The other one is int, so I just didn't want to make two int ones. STR I also took off the table because of TUR. I just felt like AGL, AGL tech also works. Fizz also works. I just put AGL. This is my preference. So, starting with 12 key. Also, I didn't make a leader skill. Um, I also didn't make leader skills for the Diamond Goku and Diamond v Vegeta um, that posted um, Monday and Tuesday. Um, just because diama characters um i looked at their units that were already out they really didn't even have categories for real so that's the reason i didn't put sorry we are back that's the reason i didn't put leader skills for them um for this um to be honest i don't know if i wanted to make him a carnival or a dokkan fest obviously he deserves to be a dokkan fest but a carnival could have also worked. I really just couldn't make my mind, so I just didn't make a leader skill in general. But 12 key greatly stacks and causes colossal damage with a high chance of stun. 18 key also greatly stacks, causes mega colossal and a great chance to stun. Active skill can be activated upon entering the attacking turn. So this is the same active um, skill condition as Tech Broly from Worldwide. Um, I just thought it's very nice just to have that ability just to be able to transform if it's a quicker fight and you just need that damage or you just want to get the done the, the fight done quick. It's just always there as an option. But obviously, if you want to stay in for a longer fight, you're going to be stacking on both. And then obviously the active skill is the transformation. Moving on to his passive skill. As you see, it's a lot but you know what i'm saying let's just dig in man so key plus eight attack and defense to 100 gains an additional attack plus 50 percent up to 250 percent and defense plus 50 percent up to 250 percent with each attack performed um if you think this line seems familiar it is this is a line um real uh, familiar uh, similar to the lr str gohan that dropped uh part two of this worldwide um, I think I, I really like this ability. I just like the, the fact that you can just stack um, on attacking. I think it's a pretty cool idea. So I went ahead and implemented it into this Kaioken Goku. And obviously, once you do get those stacks up, this guy is going to be insane considering he already has 200% flat and you're adding another 250. So you're already up to 450. This dude's going to be doing some crazy damage and should be very strong defensively. When key is 24, attack and defense plus 75%. That's just straight up. Obviously, on top of what you have, this guy's going to start getting crazy. 
Gains an additional key plus two per orb obtained. Guards all attacks. 30% damage reduction. Gains an additional 77% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance to become a super. And then for five turns from first appearance, he's going to launch an additional super and reduce damage received by 40%. So you have five turns of this extra 40% damage reduction. Um, the reason I gave this is just so you have that time to stack. Honestly, now that I'm realizing it, um, also my brother did tell me. Um, I am doing a lot of stacking on these characters, but the reason so is just because these characters that I'm doing the concepts aren't uh, are going to be stronger characters like this would be a, an anniversary character. Uh, Diama, Goku and Vegeta obviously are celebration of a new anime released, so I had to make them crazy. So definitely in the future, once we start making day and day units or like just random TUR units, obviously we can pull down on the stacking units. But for now, since I'm making anniversary units and New Year's units and stuff like that, I do want them to be good. So that's why I'm doing this. But the 40% damage reduction is to cover so he can stack. Um, and then launches additional attack that has a great chance to become super also in slot one or two. And then if there is another planet Namek Saga or full power category ally attacking in the same turn, Gets an additional 10% damage reduction for three turns. All allies defense plus 75%. Once again, this is a line. Um, what's it called? Um, that's motivated, I guess, is a word. There's a better word. I'm blanking on it right now. By LR Super Saiyan Trio. That was also from part one of the Worldwide Down Celebration. So... That is that very, very solid. I think he actually seems very good. I mean, you got the stacking, 70% um, damage reduction for four turns, and then obviously when he drops it, you'll still have 30, and you'll be built up fairly well. And then you'll still have the opportunity of that extra 10%, so you can bump that to 40. I do think this guy looks very solid and is very good for the non-transformed version. And now we go to this beast of a unit super saiyan goku by the way this art oh my god shout out to whoever did that wow that looks just beautiful man oh my gosh okay so 12 key greatly raises for one turn causes colossal and a high chance to stun 18 key stays greatly stacking mega colossal great chance to stun so pretty much the same but i have to take the stacking away for the 12 key because obviously there's no need for this guy to st be stacking he's insane um can be activated from the next attack starting um or from the next attacking turn um after receiving an attack uh once only this is um beast gohan's active skill condition which is very a, a very good condition so i also wanted to implement that with the super saiyan goku i want this guy to be crazy number one once this guy ends up uh, becoming an LR in the game, I need him to be at least number two. Minimum number two. So, and then active skill ends up giving him key plus 24 and 100% attack defense for one turn. After we read this dude's passive skill, you're going to see why that's actually incredibly broken. That turn is just going to kill the enemy, dude. Um, Yeah, so without further ado, let's go into this paragraph of a passive skill. Probably one of my longer passive skills ever, if not the longest. So let's dig in. P e plus 8, 355% attack and defense. Guards all attacks, 50% damage reduction flat. Obviously already looking solid. 30% damage reduction and scouter for 5 turns. This is um, sought after Tech OG to easy A. So implemented it into him. I'm just trying to make him a mixture, I guess, of the the better units now but obviously better than all that combined so he's insane he needs an additional 100 percent attack and defense when attacking performs critical hits once again tech gogeta also has this so he's just gonna be critting he needs an additional attack and defense plus 25 percent per attack received before attacking for the turn this is not something that just stacks um once again kind of like that beast go on defense and crit ability performs an additional super um, when in slot 1, gains an additional 50% defense. 
and performs an additional super. Two key per orb obtained, when HP is 70% or less at the start of attacking turn, gains an additional super and attack and defense for 50% per super uh, for one turn. Per super performed for one turn. So once you start the turn, if you are lower than 70% HP, he will give another super and attack and defense plus 50% per super he performs obviously for one turn but if the next turn he comes around and you're still under obviously this will happen again but this only lasts when you start under 70% HP when key is still very broken but only for that when key is 24 all allies on the turn defense plus 100% for one turn wow I made that way too easy to get <laughs> He's obviously going to get 24 key and look two per orb and he starts with eight already. Yeah, he's going to get that. So very, very good support. After receiving five hits in battle, gains an additional super and attack and defense plus 50% for the rest of the battle. If this character lands the finishing blow and gains an attack plus 50% and gains an additional super for the next turn once only. So one. So if he kills, if he finishes off the boss, he will get attack plus 50 percent and another super for that following turn but only one time so you cannot just kill a boss get this kill a boss keep getting it no that's not how it works it's only a one-time thing i have to make some restrictions before this guy becomes superior for the next two years dude but obviously this guy seems very very crazy in my opinion and i actually just love the concept in general let me know your thoughts um, on this character like are you excited and like ready for a kaioken uh transforming lr goku um i, I know i am I i've been waiting for a new super saiyan goku for a little bit so i'm very very excited we're coming up on four years um without some sort of namek um lr goku so very excited to see it again in the future Hopefully 10th anniversary marks the day. But let me know your thoughts on this concept. Anything you would change. Anything you would do different. Comment down below any new concepts you would like to see me do. I'm open to ideas. And I have plenty of time on my hands during the weekends to make concepts. So just comment down below any concept you would like to see. And we'll go ahead and get that done. Without further ado. That's going to be the video guys. Smash the like button for more content like this. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. We are on the road to 210. And, you know, go ahead and drop the notification bell. I mean, I haven't said that in a while, but hit that bell and you, you'll be updated on all the latest videos I post, all the latest concepts, all the latest Dokkan info. Thank you guys for watching, man. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.